Leftover Baked Potatoes Part 2 and this time we're making a breakfast skillet. So stay tuned. Alrighty, part two of our two part leftover baked potato episodes. And today we're gonna make a breakfast skillet. I'm gonna get the shout out out there right away. This episode shout out is to all us cooks that after the line closed after breakfast, we kind of get on the grill and concoct whatever we wanted because we were cooks, you know, we had everything at our little disposal there. so. We could make what we wanted to make. Yeah, is it fair? I don't know. Rate has its benefits, I guess. So, what are we going to do? We're going to start out. First of all, let me backpedal. Breakfast skillets. There's no exact science to this. There's no, you know, what I'm going to put in mine, you might not like. Basically, what I'm going to put in mine is stuff that I found in my fridge. And, uh, that's pretty much it. It's kind of like a garbage can sort of, I don't know, recipe. You take what you got and you make something cool with it. So what's going on my skillet? Well, whatever is left over or was in my fridge that I feel like uh, I want to throw in my skillet. I've got some leftover onion and pepper from the previous episode that I'm going to use up. Obviously, I got my potato. I had some mushrooms laying around in the fridge. They're kind of cut or sliced fairly thick so I'm gonna kind of break them up just gonna break them up in my hand I'm gonna slice them or anything like that um, and I got some uh, two more pieces of bacon that I had uh, cooked in my air fryer that uh, we're gonna throw in here so that's what's going in my skillet and it's so simple you know we're just gonna throw all this stuff in here get it sauteed off and at the very end make a little well in the middle throw an egg in there Put the top on, let it froach. Remember, I talked about froached eggs a long time ago. Anyway, it's kind of like the easy way of making a sunny side up egg. And then uh, we're just gonna have a nice little skillet. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get a little bit of uh, a leftover bacon grease in here. And a knob of butter. We're gonna let this melt down. While that's melting down, I'm gonna prep my potato. Get my bacon out of the way here. What I'm going to do is basically the same thing I did with the uh, potato soup. So I'm going to cut this into quarters. I like my breakfast potatoes big and chunky. Home fried potatoes. Not hash brown potatoes. Hash browns are okay, but I prefer home fried. And I like it chunky. And you notice I'm keeping the skins on. I like skins. If you don't like skins, take your skins off and you know, baked, leftover baked potatoes are easy to pull the skins off. You can basically just grab it like that and skins off. So there we go. Now, in goes our potatoes. We're gonna start browning these first. We're gonna get to, we're gonna get them to a state where they're just yeah, crisping up, and then we'll add our veggies. Alrighty, into our potatoes. Throw some salt and pepper. And a bit of paprika. Give it a little turn. Oops. And you just keep working these. Just make sure you don't burn them. Now we're going to go in a little bit of onion. You know, and you put in how much onion you like. You like a lot of onion? Put a lot of onion in it. You don't like a lot of onion? Put a little onion in it. You don't like any onion? Don't put any onion in it. Going with our peppers. At this point here, I'm going to go in and break up my mushrooms and get my mushrooms in there. Just talking about, they're big and thick. I'm just going to break them up because you can. There we go. Give this a turn. And let that all start take. All right. Give them another turn. Smelling good. Try not to make a mess. Everything is browning nicely. 
At this point, what I'm going to do, make a little well in the middle. I have to cut the heat down all the way to low on this now. And these potatoes are browned. I'm going to go in with a pat of butter. Okay, I'm going to break up my bacon around the ends. Because this is pre-cooked bacon, you'll see how I pull this together and heat it up. Because i got one more ingredient I want to put in here. Alright, there's my bacon. What I've done here is create a little landing zone from my egg. In goes my egg. I'm going to put the top on it and let that steam. So you're probably wondering how long I'm going to steam this. Only as long as it takes for the whites, which if you look in here, a little more whites we need to firm up there. And once those are all solid, then we're done. We've got about another 25 to 30 seconds left to go. And because we only have 25 to 30 seconds left to go, I can actually take this off. And because it's a cast iron skillet, I have plenty of heat still retained inside that pan that's going to finish off my steaming. Okay, it's time, I think. I've taken the lid off. The whites are all firmed up here. And I'm actually going to look at this. I don't want to poke this yet. Because actually I need to take a picture first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of greenery here for some, for some color. Make it look pretty. And there you have it. My skillet, my leftover baked potato skillet. Okay, only one thing left to do, and that's go in and test this. So, go ahead and pan in on here. I'm gonna take one of these potatoes, and we're gonna check this yolk. That should just, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, life is good. All right, let's try it. Mm. Marron. <clears throat> this is one killer skillet. You could put anything you want in there. You don't like bacon, you got some sausage laying around, there's some sausage. Ham, throw some ham. You don't like meat, go with all veggies. Throw some spinach in there if you want. This is one of the, like I said, kind of a garbage can sort of thing. Whatever you got, it can go in there. And uh, you've seen just how, again, yet again, how easy this is to make. So hey, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly share. And right over here, go ahead and punch my logo and that makes it a lot easier for you to subscribe. So until next time, thank you.